Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I love it so much. Oh, my God. I wish I... Wish... There he goes. Hello, and welcome back to Bad Magic with the citrus fruit that just got back from an African safari in Mexico. Me, Moldy Kumquat. Now, today we are playing Simic Ramp. So what are we trying to do here? Well, we're using Azuna's Mini Journeys, um, Topiary Stomper, Case of the Locked Hot House, Kellen, um, to play extra lands on our turns and ramp up to where we can play all of our big boys. Um, and that is exactly what we do. It can be a little slow. You understand that the meta is mono red and Boros Convoke, so just keep that in mind. They are winnable games, but you know, it, it it's it's tough. So I was really impressed with Kellen. I didn't expect to be, but uh, I liked him. Uh, I had the most fun uh, out of my matches when I played Doppelgang, and of course Shigeki is a Shigeki, and we all love Shigeki. I think that feels like it should be a theme song or something. Shigeki, Shigeki, we all love Shigeki. No. Cut that out. Cut that out. Make sure we cut that. Anyway. Let's go ahead and just get right into the games. But first, not only did we hit 50 subscribers, but we blew 50 out of the water. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at 60 for subscribers and I could not thank you guys enough at this rate we're going to hit 100 in no time and I'm 100% here for it so if you haven't subscribed which is about 90% of the people that watch my videos no problem just hit the button below and you can come be a part of the team as well we appreciate you no matter what. Now, the time for talking is over. The time for playing is now. All right. Um, this looks good. So, open the door, get on the floor, everybody likes that dinosaur. my game volume up there okay so uh, maybe we uh, um, yeah, maybe we do it this way I don't think uh, anything else will really do anything for us right now. <clears throat> Two, three, four, five, six. I can bring Vorn Clex down next turn. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, that's fine. That's really good. Okay. 
play this, and then, uh, you know, next turn, we will, uh, have the ability to play more than one land if we needed to. Well, not next turn, but, okay. So we'll go ahead and send the, uh, Hammer Skull back to the hand now. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll take another one of those. That'll be fine. Could take out his beanstalk, but really, there's no reason. And we're going to play it like this. We'll keep the Vorinclex up because he would have definitely blocked. I would have been probably better. Well, I don't know. He may not have because this is very... That's very good for him to get that mana. It's the ward on it too. Yep. So he wouldn't have blocked, no chance. Mm-hmm. See what we got coming next turn. I mean, we actually knew what we had coming because we could see the top there. Um, um, I don't need to gain a life, so we'll do it like this. And pass the turn. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. He plays an Atali. Of course he does. Of course he does. That Hawking Raptor, man, it's a beast. Oh, this is, this is a nightmare. Like, a, a, an absolute nightmare. I'm just going to swing in now. I hope you do. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in his hand. I guess I could have just looked. <laughs> Uh, so seven. I think we'll do him, him, and him. Cats are going crazy over there. I wonder if I should just keep this to cycle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten lands. Um, I 
I'm thinking here, bud. Guess I could just play this. Not that he can actually counter anything. It's not bad. All right. All righty, let's see what the happens. Let's see what cave job has on the a docket. <clears throat> Another trumpet and carnosaur. Of course he does. Like where are why does he have all these cards in his hand too? Um I am going to um because I fucking channeled. I didn't cast a spell, I channeled. Why do I have to be so stupid? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I am super dumb. And this guy is, his hand is just constantly filling up. Thing here. Yeah, that's, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Two, three, four. Um. mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. I got my access to my So this invasion of Archivos is a bad card in this deck because I didn't read it. I did not read it. I'm sitting here thinking about him possibly decking himself, and I'm only on 22 cards. This flying. Nope. What's it do? So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight things that can block, but can I possibly get everything back up in his hand so he has no blockers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I 
cat's gone crazy over there. So 12. So I can do, what's its actual cost? One, two, and then three. So I can do three things. One, two, and then. Um, we'll do this. Um, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. We're going to try to bounce everything back in his hand, and I think we're going to get it. All his these blockers. Um, let's just bounce this back up into my hand. Oh my lord! Oh, let's bounce that back into the hand, and. Uh, Shit, I don't fucking know. Hey, this back into my hand? Is that all of them? My oh my goodness. Let's just go done. Because, I mean, this game's over. This game is over. So, after this, though, I'm going to make a couple changes. The Archivos has to come out. I'm going to put the virtue of... Uh, yeah, he's going... <laughs> That was fun. The ending of that was fun. Even though I look like an idiot a couple times. A quick change though, but I liked it. I had fun. I don't know if he had fun, but I had fun and that's what matters, right? <laughs> that's what uh, matters. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, we're actually going to just play him. So it looks like we're against Mono Black. Okay. There's the doppelgang. Um, I'm actually just going to play Kel in this turn. Let's see what he does. Okay. All right. my doppelgang. That's fine. One of these days I'll get it back. I'm not in any hurry. I'll probably kill that. Open the door, get on the floor. This guy's got some vigilance. Um, that really isn't going to do much. I'm going to play Shigaki because he hasn't used anything to take out. I mean, you'd think he would have tried to take out Kellen last turn. And I can, I can fade, if I, you know, I can fading hope it if I had to. Oh, that's a card.
That is a card. Um, let's play his, uh, Go ahead and attack in. Draw us a card. <clears throat> um, let's just play this. I can't draw. We can't do the the first one, but gain three life and get a three three out of it. Yep. I'm gonna let that one slide. Another fading out. Yep. Just gonna keep uh, attacking in with old Kellen. He's not wanting to. Uh, he is not wanting to attack with that bat or block with that bat. And I'm really wondering where, if he has any kill spells, because like he's not using them. And right now I'm vulnerable. I tapped out. <sighs> yep. Bye bye, Shigeki. I got the turtle to bring back if I needed to, to really deal with some shenanigans. He'll draw a card here. Gain one life. Up to sixteen. Yeah, I'll draw. So I need a Come attacking in. I mean, that's thirteen damage. I don't know what he thought I was going to sacrifice there. He's taking it. One, two. I can do one, and I'll do she Aldred. Yeah. 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 Oh, boy. He might... I wonder if he's going to quit here. And it feels so good. Sure. You're not going to gain that life now, boy. Not going to gain that life this time, good sir. Hmm. I'm actually considering double blocking here. Nope. He'll gain one life. Actually, no, he won't. He'll lose a life. Yes, sir! Let's go! Two and O. Oh. Uh, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. This hand is a big pile of shit. But... 
with the way the draws have been going these last two games, I'm not mulliganing. And see, that's fine. That is fine. Yep. Go ahead and counter it. You didn't counter it. Fine. <sighs> what the fuck is that? Okay. Oh, was it flash? Okay. Oh, he's playing. He's playing Demir. Uh, I'm actually going to put it back in his hand. He had zero reactions. So, oh, <gasps> I need a land. Unless he's playing like Essence Scatter, when I did that, he had no counter. Unless he's just super good at hitting, you know, pass. He had zero, there were zero pause when I cast Fading Hope. At least that's what it looked like to me. Let me know below what you guys think. The Night Clubber. What was that? Oh, he blitzed it. That's my only play right now, honestly. The Steam Core Scholar. It's a cool card. I've been uh, I've been thinking about Grixis. You know, it's Grixis used to be my jam, and I haven't played it really in a long time. And uh, I've been really, really thinking about it. And Steam Core is involved in that thought process. Good. Let's see what he does. No blocks. So we'll go ahead and do this. And play an additional land this turn. And then we can actually get us another little, uh, what is it, clue? Embe uh, yeah, a clue. And we will end the turn. I feel good about this spot right here. We can bring uh, the Stomper online next turn if we draw a land. We're gaining three life next turn. So, yeah, okay. Um, I can't fading hope. I'm just gonna do it this way. Uh. by me. 
So he's getting cute and trying to double bat me. It's, I mean, I, I, I think it's fine. Oh, good lord. I'm just, I'm going to cycle this. So now he's starting to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's just play it, F it, let's just play it. So it's the virtue of knowledge against the virtue of strength. Uh, I'll take strength every time. Oh, that's not good. What are you going to destroy, my Kellen? Uh, and uh, probably my Stomper, mm-hmm. Field of Ruin. Oh, a Fading Hope. Okay. Okay. Wait a, wait just a, a darn tootin' second. One. Oh, each of them needs ca uh, ca uh, tap for two. One, two, three, four, five. So let's play the Hall Breaker. And we're going to play the Prodigy. Um, we are going to untap this, this, and this. That's only triggering once, my friend. And I'm going to be honest with you. There he goes. Mr. Nice Guy, thank you for being nice and conceding for me. Yeah. I'm just going to keep it. I'll probably draw every land in the deck, though. Like I just Yeah, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna watch what he's doing. I don't, I don't even, I, I seriously, I don't even want to watch it. I 
can't block with the Stomper right now. Oh, he played another Kumano. Of course he did. I'm just kind of wondering right now if the only thing that, that is good for me to do at this point in time is to put the Phoenix back in his hand with the Ottawa. I, I think that's... I think that's what I'm going to do. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Lightning strike. I don't even want to watch. I don't even want to watch. He doesn't have a creature. That's good. Well, I gave him a chance to decide what he was going to do, but he waited for me. That was smart. I gave him a chick to be another 2-2. Two -two. Whatever. It's fine. not attack and hopefully he can only do two to us this turn or three it's fine here comes a monstrous rage sure no just a shock just a shock you don't like shigeki no we don't like we don't like the shigeki Exiled. Is, it, is that what Shock does? Is that what he does? Yeah, you know, I've never paid attention to that because it's stupid. <laughs> it never, like, nobody ever has to interact with that lame-o. Yep. Another turn. I'm fine with this. He clearly doesn't have anything. What? Actually, I wasn't fine with that. Let's uh bring Shigeki back into the hand. Um, well, yeah, we'll definitely do that one. Play the Shigeki. And, uh, pass turn. That's cute. This is cuter, by the way. Mono red. Look how cute he is. Alright. Play the motherfucking forest. I want to pass the turn. We are passing the turn, Blood Feather Phoenix. And your Phoenix chicks. You're probably still going to. You don't even. You don't even know that Vorinclex has reach because you, you aren't paying attention. Right? Okay. So what are you what are you gonna get out of this? One? So why don't you attack with your blood feather phoenix? It's not like it can block. Oh all the fading hopes too. Um, yeah, we're going to play the one. And then, actually, we're going to play Kellen. 
like this straight up and I'm gonna attack in with him S to bang MB S to bang MB I'll watch the game now mono red going first second game in a row just got crushed and almost pulled that one out and now I'm feeling like we might pull this one out as well because you aren't reading cards sir you are not reading cards and it's like you can't help yourself actually uh, let's not do this let's do this you just can't help yourself can you you're mono red and you have to attack knowing that you have nothing you have nothing like what did that do what did that do I'll tell you what it did it did nothing Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I love it so much. Oh, my God. I wish I... Wish... There he goes. Get out of here, Estebang in boot. Mono red. I don't feel bad one bit. I don't feel bad one bit. I know it looks terrible, and it probably is terrible. Hope I draw land. I did not. I, and I'm not going to. I can already tell you right now exactly how this deck is going to play out. This game. I took a two land hand. Because every time I mulligan, my mulligans have been garbage. And as you can see here, I'm not going to draw land for the rest of the fucking game. Yeah. All right, take your pick. At least he's not playing mono red. That's that's really all I've got to say about it. Okay, so I'm at 20. I think I'll do it like this. I'm going to tack in too. I would much rather him trade. And me get some lands back here. And then I'm going to fill the ruin this little path of the dead. Path to the dead. And get me a... Island. So what it looks like to me is he's playing some kind of Grixis. Uh... Vampire themed deck. I would really like to win this game so we go 5-5. Five and five. Yep. 
I mean, you see it, pal. Ooh. Boy, he took that quick, too. He was like, huh. This, this card here. Should have taken the Voren clicks. I believe, anyway. Uh, <clears throat> I think you should have taken the Voren clicks. Okay. All right. I'll be patient and I'll just I'll go over top his head. Eventually he's going to have to block with the bats. Titan. Okay. Scared to death of Shigeki. Scared to death. That, I think, was possibly a mistake. She can kill battles. I mean, you can't block with him because you attacked, you dumbass. And now I've got a rhino that I will absolutely sacrifice to your preacher. 100%. Just so you know, I will sacrifice this rhino 100% to block your preacher. Okay. Like, is he really that desperate to get the invasion going? Like, what's he even got? Hmm. Yeah, I think I, I think I actually just, I think I just do it like this. Yeah. Yep. Looks pretty freaking good to me. Now what, sir? You've got a block, or you are dead. Captain Cubano? What are you going to do? You're going to... Did you double block? Did you, did you double... Why did you double block Kellen, dude? Why did you block Kellen? Double block Kellen. He doesn't have, like, trample. I would say good game, but, I mean, I, I was confused. Oh, I'd like to actually kind of explore other options with Kellen. I, I want to try to use him again. I think it's a, it's a pretty alright card. A lot better than I originally... A lot better than I originally thought. I mean, the ramp capability that he has is is brilliant. What's this do? Uh, at the beginning of your end step, if you control a creature with power greater than its base power, create one. Okay. Just 
go ahead and play Kellen. I mean, he's a good body. A 3-4 flying vigilance. That, that ramps you on turn two to get to him. I was hoping he wouldn't attack. I want to play Born Clicks. You know that might just do it. Like, is he is he seriously going? Would he would he attack with Adeline if I played the Born Clicks? He definitely would if I do this. In which case, I could I can fading hope back into his hand. But I just I just. Yeah, I just I'm gonna play the Vorn clicks. And do it like this. Okay. Alright. So he is going to attack. Clearly. Like, yeah, that kind of was a that was a crappy attack, I think. That was not a good attack plan. I don't think. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. I can cycle that, but pre-combat, I'm going to go ahead and put a stop there, but pre-combat, I'm going to Fading Hope his Adeline to his hand, so he can't trigger her ability, so he can't get a trigger there. I just kind of want to see what he's going to do here. What's she do? She gains hexproof. Okay. <gasps> no, because he can cast her now. Fucking hell. No, he can't. He can't cast her. Oh, I panicked there for a second. So he's just going to tack in with her? I'm cool with that. Of course, I'm going to block. Yes, he can bring him back, but whatever. He can also block with him next turn, and I'm hoping one, two, three. I was actually kind of hoping to play the uh, the portal this turn. I'm just kind of gonna do it like this. <sighs> Wow. That's what I got. One, two, three. I don't even have enough mana to activate the block. I am curious to see what he does, though, here. I mean, I'll 
I'll take his four, but I ain't taking anything else. Alright, let's see what happens here. Talia. Okay. Like, I got trample. I mean, this is okay, but I got... Yeah, so he was, he was like, I have to block. <laughs> he absolutely does have to block. Um, I've got three turns, I feel. I got more than three turns now. All right, so let's let's think about this. He's at seven. He can do one, two. Or he can block for one, five, six, seven. Like he's gonna actually have to block this two. So if he blocks here, he can maybe do six here and here. And then I play the Titan. Let's just do it. Actually, no. Yeah, we want to play the Titan. I was gonna say because because uh, I'm gonna gain life. I want to gain the life. And if he kills my Vorinclex, is he just not gonna block? No, we're not. We're not in blocking phase yet. I just. I think I win this. I don't. I don't think he's going to be able to stop. I can gain five life and create a four-four Rhino. He has zero cards in his hand. Okay, ear, ear race car or something. IRS car. Just go ahead. Go ahead, block. I know it's tough. Just block. Just block. Just block. That's how you're blocking. Unexpected. That's that's game, bud. I got I got he's trample. Right? He's trample. Pew pew. Pew pew. He's hitting you for five. Pew pew. Game over. IRS car, don't come to me trying to take my taxes because I'm going to tell you to go on down the road. Hey, I hope you enjoyed those games and I appreciate you for sticking around to the end. If you want to check out one of these other videos, please do so. You may find something you like. And don't forget that I am going live now and I plan to do so more regularly on the weekends. So make sure you're subscribed and you got the notifications turned on so that you will be notified when that happens. Also, if you're wondering why I'm dressed differently than I was in the games, well, that's because those games were in the past and I am recording this in the present, which is your tomorrow. Anyway, thank you again. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.